Welcome, avid viewers, to a deep dive into the intriguing facets of Jackie Harry's life, where we'll unravel the layers of fame, fortune, and the human experience. In this exclusive exploration, we'll not only scrutinize the actress's impressive net worth, luxurious cars, and opulent mansion but also delve into the untold chapters of her life that have remained hidden in the shadows. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Jackie Harry, a prominent American actress and television personality, boasts a noteworthy net worth of $7 million, carving a distinguished career in the entertainment industry. Recognized for her iconic portrayals of Sandra Clark in the popular TV series 227 and Lisa Landry in the beloved sitcom Sister, Sister, Harry's journey from her birth on August 14, 1956, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to her upbringing in the vibrant landscape of Harlem, New York, is a narrative woven with determination and passion. At the age of 14, she embarked on her acting journey, securing a significant role as the king in her school's rendition of The King and I. Post high school graduation, she furthered her education at LIU Brooklyn University, earning a degree in education. The turning point in her career came with the 1978 play, a Broadway musical, where she portrayed Melinda Bernard, setting the stage for what was to come. It was during this pivotal time that she encountered Jerry Jamet, the bass player in the orchestra. Their connection was instantaneous, and she fondly recounted it as love at first sight. Captivated by his locks, she wasted no time in pursuing Jerry, despite a decade's age difference between the 23-year-old actress and her newfound love. According to her interview with the History Makers, Jerry not only recognized her talent but also knew her on a profound level, providing unwavering support and predicting her future fame. However, Jackie was less concerned about stardom and more engrossed in her whirlwind romance with Jerry. Their engagement swiftly followed, culminating in a joyous union in 1980, marking the beginning of a shared journey filled with love and support. Securing her subsequent role in the Broadway play, Yubi, which entailed a demanding touring schedule, posed a significant challenge for Jackie and her newlywed bliss. Sharing her experience with the history makers, she expressed how the separation felt like a threat to her marriage with Jerry. Despite his background as a musician accustomed to extended periods away, Jerry, ever supportive, reassured her that pursuing the opportunity was vital for her career. Reluctantly, she embarked on an eight-month tour, during which Jerry made frequent visits to bridge the distance. However, the strain on their relationship became apparent, prompting Jackie to make a difficult decision. Opting to prioritize her marriage over her career, she left the production to join Jerry on a six-month tour. Upon returning to the States, Jackie continued to make strides in her acting career. She and Jerry established a home in a New York apartment, yet, as her professional endeavors soared, their marital foundation began to crack. Acknowledging her own immaturity, Jackie faced the harsh reality that Jerry was ready to explore other options. Four years into their union, Jerry initiated divorce proceedings, and the split proved far from amicable. Complicating matters, another woman emerged in the narrative, intensifying Jackie's emotional turmoil over Jerry's swift moving on. Adding financial strain to the mix, Jackie found herself compelled to pay a divorce settlement to retain sole ownership of their shared apartment. Despite Jerry's warnings about the financial challenges ahead, Jackie remained determined to keep the apartment, navigating a challenging chapter in her personal and professional life. Amidst grappling with the internal anguish of losing the love of her life, she found herself cast in the role of Sandra Clark on 227 and relocated to Los Angeles to commence filming. In an interview with the History Makers, she disclosed her attempts to shield most of her sadness, yet when she did confide in others about her struggles, their responses often revolved around her outward appearance, with remarks like, well, you look great. The dissonance between looking impeccable externally while grappling with profound inner pain became an overwhelming challenge for her to navigate. Each day, she had to muster the strength to show up at work, don a facade of happiness all while contending with personal demons wreaking havoc on her life. Despite the turmoil, her portrayal of the character Sandra Clark on 227 endeared her to television audiences, propelling her into the limelight and providing an array of dating options. In a candid tweet, she shared her experiences of entering into a relationship, only to discover later that her partner was already involved with Eartha Kitt. Recounting the ensuing confrontation, Jackie revealed that when Eartha Kitt learned about the affair, she delivered a memorable slap, 
adding a tumultuous chapter to the complexities of her personal life amidst the burgeoning success of her television career. Entering into a romantic relationship with actor Blair Underwood marked a turning point for Jackie, and during this period, she received an unexpected phone call from her ex-husband, Jerry. Astonishingly, he had been closely following her burgeoning career and found himself in need of financial assistance. Jackie, displaying a newfound sense of independence and maturity, responded with a measured, oh, let me get back to you, before hanging up the phone without extending any financial support. It was not her responsibility to rectify the consequences of his financial choices that depleted his entire divorce settlement. Instead, Jackie interpreted this interaction as validation that she had truly come into her own. Fiercely self-reliant and financially independent, she saw herself as a testament to the capabilities she possessed, proving wrong any doubts Jerry may have harbored about her ability to thrive without his assistance. In 1994, Jackie secured her next significant career breakthrough, embodying the character Lisa Landry alongside Tia and Tamara Mowry in the hit show, Sister, Sister. This venture proved to be a prime-time success, coinciding with a fascinating turn of events in her personal life. Around 1995, a visit to a hair salon introduced Jackie to Elgin Charles Williams, a male stylist who caught her eye. Despite finding him attractive, she hesitated due to the presence of numerous women in the salon. Assuming he might have a girlfriend, this initial encounter took an unexpected turn when, at a Halloween party later that year, Jackie ran into Elgin again. The actress, dressed as Marilyn Monroe, mustered the courage to give him her number, initiating a waiting game for his call. Reflecting on the situation with CNN, Jackie humorously remarked, I was dressed as Marilyn Monroe, so everything was out. I guess I scared him. Unbeknownst to Jackie, Elgin harbored a complex personal history. Raised in a conservative family in San Antonio, Texas, Elgin grappled with self-discovery from an early age. His passion for hairstyling, a departure from stereotypical gender roles, caused internal conflict. As revealed to the advocate, Elgin navigated a spiritual and mental tug of war, with his father rigidly enforcing traditional gender norms. Encouragements from his sister to join the cheerleading team and his brother's insistence on football participation further intensified this internal struggle. Eventually becoming overwhelming for Elgin, embarking on a life-altering journey at the age of 21, Elgin Charles made a pivotal decision to relocate to Los Angeles. This move proved transformative as he secured a job at a bank, where fate introduced him to Keith. Reflecting on their first encounter, Elgin candidly stated, I liked what I saw. The trajectory of their relationship unfolded over six months, providing Elgin with a sense of liberation and a newfound comfort with his sexuality. Experiencing life on the down low, he navigated both male and female relationships throughout the 80s. The era, however, was also marked by devastating losses, with friends and fellow hairdressers succumbing to AIDS. Overwhelmed by grief and grappling with shame as a Christian, Elgin sought solace in his faith, delving into the study of the Bible. By 1991, he departed from the corporate world and established the Elgin Charles Salon. In the backdrop of this transformative journey, Elgin met Jackie in 1995, sparking a connection that led to their eventual union. Three weeks after their encounter at a Halloween party, Elgin finally made the call, initiating a relationship that impressed Jackie with his adept handling of the demands of her life as an actress. Love blossomed swiftly, and during the early stages of their romance, Jackie, in an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show, expressed her desire for motherhood. Despite the escalating romance, Elgin was not mentioned in the interview, and Jackie revealed she was exploring the possibility of using a donor to conceive a child. Whether Jackie was aware of Elgin's complex past remains uncertain, but their relationship progressed to marriage in 1996. Speaking to Jet magazine, Jackie praised her new husband, expressing the joy she felt in their union. As they navigated the uncertainties of Elgin's ministry studies, the couple envisioned a lasting bond, adhering to the sacred vows of marriage, till death do us part. In the year 1997, Jackie and Elgin embraced parenthood by adopting an eight-month-old baby named Frank. Despite her elation at becoming a mother, Jackie candidly admitted that her career took precedence. In an interview with Closer Weekly, she acknowledged that Elgin assumed the lion's share of parenting responsibilities, stating, You feel the tear and the rip, but if I had a decision to make, I choose the job. 
This professional commitment, however, took a toll not only on her relationship with her child but also on her marriage to Elgin, leading to their divorce in 2003. Despite their separation, reports indicated that they continued to share a residence for a period, prioritizing co-parenting their son. In 2011, Elgin took center stage in his own reality show, Beverly Hills Fabulous. Despite initial intentions to openly discuss his bisexuality during an episode, he opted against it, citing his perceived lack of strength to navigate potential dialogues at the time, stating, I wasn't strong enough at that time, I didn't want to deal with the dialogue. The show, unfortunately, concluded after just one season, prompting Elgin to retreat from the public eye. Fast forward to 2015, and the couple made a joint appearance on Celebrity Wife Swap, yet Elgin continued to withhold discussions about his personal preferences. In 2018, a significant revelation unfolded in Elgin Charles's life with the release of his memoir, titled, By the Way. This marked a moment of candid self-disclosure where he openly discussed his bisexuality, lifting a weight off his shoulders. Embraced by his loved ones, including his son and ex-wife Jackie, Elgin expressed a newfound sense of acceptance, stating, it's nothing to be ashamed of, the bisexual man is out there, and he's willing to hold his head up high and discuss it. The amicable relationship between Jackie and Elgin was emphasized, with Elgin sharing, Jackie and I are cool, Jackie and I are good friends, we love each other very much. Jackie, on the other hand, navigated her own journey in love, entering into a third marriage with a mystery man. Which ultimately ended, she initially kept this relationship concealed, only revealing it in a February 2021 tweet where she shared the emotional toll of divorce, particularly when children are involved. However, Jackie's attitude toward love remained optimistic. Despite three divorces, she asserted in a People magazine interview that she was enjoying meeting men on Tinder. By 2020, she introduced a new man into her life, sharing with Entertainment Tonight that she was dating a longtime friend. While not opposed to marriage, Jackie clarified that she preferred living separately, expressing a preference for her own space, stating, they can live next door or down in their man cave, which is separate from the house. I like my alone time. This glimpse into Jackie's evolving romantic journey illustrates resilience, self-discovery, and a commitment to maintaining personal space in her pursuit of love. My dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to explore her house now. Mansion in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In September 2015, the talented actress Jack A. Harry made a significant investment by purchasing a home in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, for a whopping $1.5 million. Notably, this home holds special significance for her as it is also her hometown. Situated in the charming Buena Vista neighborhood, the house is set on a spacious one-acre lot, providing a sense of privacy and tranquility. Nestled on a hill at the rear of Renolda Place, the stately residence boasts an impressive size of over 5,000 square feet. Featuring four bedrooms and five bathrooms. With such ample space, each member of the household can enjoy the luxury of having their own bathroom and personal area. The main floor of the house includes a master bedroom with access to a terrace, offering a delightful view of the surroundings. The two-story great room, adorned with French doors, opens up to the backyard, revealing a charming brick fountain in the partially covered outdoor living space. The backyard is adorned with perfect landscaping, featuring mature trees that create an intimate and serene atmosphere. Noteworthy amenities include a three-car garage at the rear of the house, providing additional storage space. The property also boasts a large car park, turnaround area, conveniently located near the front door for ease of access. The spacious walkout basement, spanning just under 600 square feet, features a half-bath, beverage dispenser, and one of the two indoor fireplaces. This area also houses additional flexible rooms, ideal for storage purposes. Interestingly, Jack A. Harry initially rented the house from 2015 to 2021 before officially making it her residence. The sources, along with her Instagram posts, confirm that she officially moved into the property in 2022. The house not only reflects her personal connection to her hometown but also showcases her taste in choosing a residence that combines elegance, comfort, and practicality. Luxury Apartments at Twin City Lofts Jack A. Harry, the accomplished actress, doesn't just stop at owning a magnificent home, she also possesses another impressive property, a $1 million apartment located at 400 West 4th Street in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This particular apartment, nestled within the Twin City Lofts, 
stands out as a marvel in downtown Winston-Salem. Spanning a single story, this luxurious dwelling boasts an open floor plan, adorned with hardwood floors, electric blackout curtains, and smart lighting, creating an atmosphere of modern elegance. The kitchen is a culinary haven with quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, an island, and a pantry, catering to both style and functionality. The master suite, a true sanctuary within the apartment, features a private master bathroom and two separate closets equipped with built-in custom shelving, adding a touch of sophistication to the living space. The two additional bedrooms each come with their own private bathrooms, ensuring enhanced privacy and convenience. An elevator ride up to the Sky Lounge treats residents to breathtaking views of the city from the rooftop. This communal space is a haven for relaxation and entertainment, complete with a grill, minibar, TV, fireplace, and comfortable sofas, an ideal spot to unwind and enjoy the skyline. Practicality is evident with the main floor garage, offering two private parking spaces and storage lockers for added convenience. Beyond the apartment's walls, Residents benefit from the proximity to various local amenities, including restaurants, parks, and shopping centers, making it a hub of accessibility and comfort. Interestingly, Jack A. Harry reportedly rented this exquisite apartment for $7,000 a month, showcasing not only her refined taste in real estate but also her preference for a lifestyle that seamlessly combines luxury and functionality. This additional property serves as a testament to her commitment to creating living spaces that are as stylish as they are comfortable. My dear viewers, let us now move on to the cars that Jack A. Harry owns. Jack A. Harry, known for her private nature, has given us glimpses into her life through the lens of her stylish automobile choices. The first in her collection is the Chrysler 300, a vehicle exuding sophistication and luxury. Priced at around $56,000, the Chrysler 300 stands as a symbol of elegance on wheels. The Chrysler 300, a sedan that captivates with its sleek design and powerful presence, boasts impressive specifications. Under the hood, it houses a potent engine, offering a smooth and dynamic driving experience. The spacious interior of the car is adorned with top-notch materials and modern technology, creating a comfortable and enjoyable ride. This vehicle, chosen by Jack A. Harry, not only reflects her refined taste but also her preference for a harmonious blend of style and performance. Moving on to her second automotive gem, Jack A. Harry owns the Lexus ES, a car that blends luxury with practicality. The Lexus S is a testament to the renowned Japanese craftsmanship that has made Lexus a brand associated with opulence and reliability. While specific details about the model and year are not provided, the Lexus ES typically comes equipped with a powerful yet fuel-efficient engine, ensuring a smooth and efficient journey. Inside the Lexus ES, one can find a carefully designed interior with premium materials and advanced technology features. The attention to detail and emphasis on comfort make it a popular choice among those seeking a refined driving experience. With a sleek exterior design and a reputation for reliability, the Lexus ES aligns with Jack A. Harry's taste for vehicles that offer both style and practicality. The Chrysler 300 and Lexus ES, each with its distinct characteristics, stand as testaments to her appreciation for quality in both aesthetics and functionality. I think she will own more than two of these. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.